I'm happy to be joined today by a Lloyd Minster author here on Primetime Local News. It's Everlyn C. Thompson who's with us today. Everlyn, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. I want to talk about this incredible feat that you've accomplished. Uh, during the pandemic, a lot of us were looking for things to do and, and you know, I had to find other activities and, and you really amped things up and, and making the rest of us look bad. You ended up writing a number of books. So, so tell me about, about the books you wrote, Erin. Um, they're urban fantasy or paranormal romance, which is what I like to read. Um, I just kind of thought I would emulate what the, my favorite authors have done. And so before this, though, you had never written any books or, or were you doing short stories or anything like that? No, no. <laughs> just lots of reading. And, and so that's all you did was take inspiration uh, from, from reading books and you just went on to write all of these novels? Yep. Wow, that, that's really amazing, Erin. Can you tell me, let's start with the first one. What's the title? And tell me a little bit about the plot with the first one. Uh, it's called A Flock of Vampires. It's about uh, vampire warriors living in Calgary, Alberta, which is where I used to live. I always thought it would be pretty cool if they were actually vampires there, but I never ran into any. Um, and it's uh, about a witch, I guess, that meets them. And then it's a romance. And so then the next book, is it a, a continuance of that or is it totally separate? No, it's a different series. I wrote the first book of the first series and then I didn't know what to do with it. So I started a second series. Um, okay. It's called uh, Grave Reaping Hermit. It's um, based in Northern Saskatchewan. We have a cabin. And I always thought it'd be really cool if one day when I was walking in the woods, I like found a gate to fairy, which is what happens to the woman in the book. Okay, and then from there, book number three, is that another series of its own or is it a continuance? No, that's book two for the Grave Reaping series. Okay, and, and can you tell me a little bit about, uh, without giving too much away, uh, how that, that book, uh, the plot goes? Uh, in the first book, the heroine meets her love interest and a lot of other kooky characters along the way. And then they part ways on a bad note. So the second book is reintroducing him and finding out why he disappeared. And then the heroine gets to go see him. And now you said you have a fourth book in the works. Is it completed or are you still writing it? It is. I've signed a contract for it. We're in the midst of editing it. I think we have another three or four months of editing. And then it, sh it should be available by the end of 2023. And so then will that be part of one of the series or is that a new one as well? That is the third book in the Great Breathing series. That's where uh, the heroine gets to explore her love interest and the relationship with him amidst all the chaos that happens in Barry. So is this something where you went out and Aaron and or Everlyn and you went to find somebody who would publish for you or is it self-published or, or how did that whole process work? It's traditionally published. I don't know anything about self-publishing. I haven't heard a lot of success stories. I mean, there are a few, but there are so many that the people are selling books out of their dining room and not making any money and not getting the books distributed anywhere. So I applied to, I think it was 28 different publishers for my first book. Um, most of them rejected me. And then I had one over in the UK that was interested and they sort of specialized in vampire novels, which is why I applied to them. And then at the same time, I was sending out my second book to different publishers of urban fantasy. And then I kind of got both contracts from two different publishers at the same time. Well, can you tell me what happens now, uh, Everlyn? Are you going to be, is this your full-time job now? Is this something you're going, you're going to continue or was it like a kind of a one and done thing? No, it's just kind of something I do after everybody else is in bed at night. Just something to keep me busy. My main job is like raising little humans to be decent human beings that can see, succeed in life once they leave my house. So yeah, it's just kind of like a hobby right now. And so if people would like to buy the books, can they get them traditional places, the the uh, online sources, or are uh, they available in bookstores as well? Kind of a little bit of, I guess, every, everything? Yeah, um, they're not available in the Lloydminster bookstore yet. Um, just because it's an American publisher and a UK publisher, I've had trouble getting them there. Uh, it's going to be on the Indigo Chapters Cole's website. Um, they had like that big malware issue where they were shut down for months. So they have, it had, both my books have not been added there yet, but they're in the midst of being added. Right now, I think Amazon is the only place you can get them. Okay, and also, uh, just if people are looking for more information in general, where can they find you on social media, Everlyn? Um, I'm on Instagram a lot. Uh, I have a website, everlyncthompson.com. You can find all my links there. I'm on Goodreads. I'm exploring TikTok, and most days I just, like, want to throw my phone at the wall. I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> I will get there. 
Oh, okay, great. Well, thank you so much. And congratulations. This is just amazing to be able to, to do this and continue to do this. So we look forward to seeing what uh, you publish in the future and we'll keep up and let our viewers know what's going on. So thank you again for joining us. We really appreciate speaking with you today. Awesome. Thanks for your time, Stacey.